And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Codebreaker Central for the UK and their difficulties they've come in, run into due to the lockdowns and the social distancing rules and all the rest of the stuff. Now, this is the site as well where they managed to decipher the Enigma code from the Germans during the Second World War. Without this site and the people that work there, some might say the Germans would have won. Now, it's in Buckinghamshire. I don't know if you know where it, what it is or if you've guessed so far. But it's also the place where the first large-scale digital computer was used. And it was used to decode the Enigma code. You may have heard of the name Alan Turing. He was one of the people that worked there. Now, have you guessed where it is? Yeah, you're right. It's Bletchley Park. Now, because of the lurgy and the lockdown, it's fallen into a £2 million deficit. And you'd be surprised to find out who's helped out, to be honest. But we'll have a read through the article and let, you can let me know what you think at the end. It's titled, Lurgy. Facebook, yep, you heard that right, Facebook, donates £1 million to Bletchley Park to save it from closure. The social network site says its own work on new technologies would not have been possible without Bletchley Park's legacy. It's very true that one to be honest. Facebook had donated a one, one million pounds to stop it from closing effectively. Now the Buckinghamshire County House was home to the government's code and cipher school during the Second World War where code breakers used the first large scale digital computers to decode Nazi communications. It now operates as a museum so you can actually pay to go around and it is by all accounts a very good experience as well well worth doing so if you're in near the Buckinghamshire area when we unlock obviously go and uh, see if you can help out by having a look around they also do things like uh, coding courses so it may be beneficial on two fronts <laughs> now the social networking site is founder is Mark Zuckerberg is worth more than 100 billion dollars about 77 billion pounds now it said it's donated the money to re recognize the site's legacy as the birthplace of modern computing alan turing and the 9,000 other employees there are believed to have shortened the war by between two and four years by finding out what britain's enemies were doing and what attacks they had planned same like i said earlier it's because of um, a very good coding system that the germans had um, operated with enigma machines which effectively decoded it and with Without having the machine, it should not have been possible. But Alan Turing and the rest saved us from that. Now think how many deaths, that's how many people's lives that saved. Two to four years of a war, it's a lot, isn't it? Heroes, effectively. Steve Hatch, Facebook's Vice President for Northern Europe, said the social network's own work on new technologies would not have been possible without Bletchley Park. The historic achievement of Alan Turing and the Bletchley team have benefited all of us greatly, including Facebook, and we're thrilled to help preserve the spiritual home of modern computing, he said. The UK is our biggest engineering hub outside of the US and responsible for building technologies to keep our community safe. For the future of work and commerce and for the exciting world of VR and AR. This wouldn't have been possible without the legacy of Alan Turing and his team and our, our hopes is that Bletchley staying open inspires the next generation of engineers. Bletchley Park Trust, the registered charity that runs the heritage site, is also being given a £447,000 grant from the digital for Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sport for its Lurgy Recovery Fund. Ian Standen, Chief Executive of Bletchley Park, said Facebook's donation would help preserve the park's visitor experiences and learning programmes. We are very grateful to both Facebook for their generous donation and DCMS for their financial support. Now, normally, I wouldn't be happy with bailouts and things like that, but Bletchley Park is a massive, massive part of our history, and it should be protected. So, I actually have found myself backing two organisations that I really don't like today it's going well isn't it so facebook thank you very much for for the donation we do appreciate it we really do bletchley park should stay open forever in my opinion if you are near bletchley park or you were interested in going to find out exactly what they did and believe me it is vast they are heroes see if you can get there once the lockdowns have lifted etc etc now if you're even if you're interested in coding it's the birthplace of coding is it not i'm sure they've probably still got the first com first working computer that, w that broke the code there as well so it is worth going i might actually do it myself in the near future to be honest but it is worth looking into everyone but let me know what you think everyone i'd like to know your opinion do you think it
it's a good thing that Facebook have got involved because it does look like it was going to close down without it. And they've managed to get three quarters of the amount they need to stay open. So they are still a bit behind, but they've just been given a lifeline, have they not? Give them a little bit more time. So it's up to us to keep our history safe and to keep our history going. Bletchley Park is a massive part of it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. Please, please, please stay safe. Remember our history and I'll see you on the next one.